Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called MMA Combat Card Game. It is by Rick Pittman and Calvin Patton, and it is a two-player game in which you're going to be playing cards back and forth in a MMA-style combat formation. So you'll be standing, you'll be clinched, you'll be grounded. It has this kind of like, take that feel, but it also has a strategic placement feel where you're going to be playing cards depending on the stance you're in and what kind of cards you play are going to depend on how you play them as well. It's kind of confusing, but it's not actually that confusing of a game. It's pretty simple. But it is a two-player game, although I could see it playing more players. It'll be interesting to see what they do on the Kickstarter campaign. But anyway, that is the basic idea of it. Let's go ahead and check it out. So here we have the MMA combat card game, and as you can see, there's multiple decks for multiple different characters you can play as, and each of the decks has some different style of play. We're going to go ahead and take away two of these, because in the two-player game, you're simply going to be having a deck each. You've also got some of these cards here, which look like reference cards, but they're actually not. This card here and this card here are for your player's health, which will start at 30, and as you can see, there's the 1s tracker and then there's a the 10s tracker, so just go ahead and put it at 30 and put it at 0, and whenever you take damage, you're simply going to go down the track and and uh, lower your health like that. If you ever get to zero before the third round or before the third round ends, you're going to lose the game, so that's one way you can lose. And the other way is to gain enough points at the end of the third round, provided no one has uh, basically passed out, right? You're not gonna actually die in this game, it's MMA combat, at least hopefully not, right? Uh, you've also got player turns and you've got rounds and then of course your fight position. Every round you're always gonna start off standing, but the position of the fight can change. Just like in MMA fighting, you can simply be in a clenched uh, or simply a grounded fighting position position. Uh, after everybody has taken, each player has taken their fifth turn, you're going to move on to the second round, and then it's going to refresh. You're also going to refresh from any other of these positions to standing once again, and you're going to get a continue like that. So that's the basic idea of how the turns work and whatnot, but this is the uh, amount of cards you need, which is going to be five here. Five for him, and five for him. When you get your five cards, you're going to look at the hand and see if what, what you like, what, what you're dealt. Maybe you don't like a couple cards, you can discard up to three of them, and then simply go ahead and draw that many cards, and shuffle the cards back into the deck. That's going to let you basically mulligan to a certain extent so you can get the cards you like and remove the cards you don't like. This character will actually keep his hand here. Now let's go ahead and talk about the cards a little bit before we get into a little bit of play here. But you got stuff like a strike, a maneuver strike, and then of course you have the different positions, clinched and grounded, standing and grounded. You can only play these cards provided you are in the fighting position uh, th that it says it's supposed to be in. So if this says clinched and grounded and you're in standing, you can't play this card. And this same would go with this one. If you were in a clinch position and this said standing and grounded, you couldn't play this card. You've also got red cards here, and these cards are actually going to counter different abilities and have different uh, counters that, that say different things. Um, most of them are going to have zero victory points, toughness, and stamina. They're basically to stop another player's turn by stopping them from being able to play cards. Uh, and then you have really big cards like this one. That's three victory points, seven toughness damage, and seven and ten stamina damage. Toughness damage is basically going to be damage to your health, and then stamina damage is going to affect your stamina deck. If you went out of cards in your deck and you run out of stamina, you're pretty much done for as well. So that is the basic aspect of these. A player is going to go first, not by drawing a card, but simply by playing cards. So as you can see, this player here has got a ton of cards and maybe he'll want to play something. So he'll go ahead and select this one here. This is a double undercooked, underhooked clinch. It says standing or crouch. So you are standing. And it says clinch the fight, discard up to two cards and put that many cards from your corner into your hand. Your corner is the discard pile. So if he has no discard pile, it might not be a good card to play this. So maybe he'll want to play something else actually because it's not going to actually do enough damage. This one however does. This is a maneuver strike for standing. It's a head kick. Let's see if we have a counter here. This says it counters any strike. So, oh, he'll go ahead and do that. And it says to exhaust this card and uh, gain one toughness and shuffle one card from your corner into your stamina. Well, he doesn't need to gain toughness because he's got full health. And he doesn't—he can't actually uh, gain anything from his corner because there's nothing in his discard pile. But this is going to get countered. This is going to go to his discard pile. This is where the point scoring area is. So we need more room if we're playing this for real. And then his turn is going to end. He's going to be done. Whenever he gets countered, that's going to be the end of his turn. He could also choose to just simply end his turn after playing his many cards as he'd like. Because you don't draw up, if you so choose, you will have to end your turn by simply drawing three cards. So he's going to go ahead and do that, and it's the second player's turn. Maybe the second player wants to play, uh, let's see, this is a grounded one, so we can't do that, and this is clinched and grounded. Hmm, 
So he can't play any of these, right? Clinch, grounded, nothing, nothing. Oh, here's a standing one right here. Okay, so you can play this one. Your opponent puts one card from his hand on top of his or her stamina deck. So he'll go ahead and select one of these cards he doesn't need. Maybe something that involves this one right here. He'll put that back on the stamina deck. And he's going to take the damage. Now here's how damage works. Toughness is four. So this player is going to lose four health. One, two, three, and four going to 20. And then stamina damage. So that's going to be one and two stamina damage going to his corner or his discard card pile. And then after that, this player can play uh, another card if he wants. Whenever he plays a card successfully, it's going to go up here. And it's going to count towards his total victory points. So at the end of uh, the third round, if uh, if he has the most victory points in this location, more than this player's location, then he's going to win. Now he's got these clenched and grounded, clenched and grounded, so he can't do anything here. So he's going to actually end his turn because he can't play anything because right now he's standing. And this is the kind of player that wants to be clinched or grounded, it looks like. So this player is going to get a chance to go. And he's actually got this one right here he can play. This one says, if the fight is grounded, this card is plus two toughness and plus three stamina. Maybe he doesn't want to do that. So instead, uh, he's actually going to simply draw three cards. He got a bunch of counters, right? And that is going to end his turn. And so the next player is going to get down. And he's also going to draw three cards because he needs to get this fight grounded or clinched. Okay. And it's going to continue going on like that. Players are going to be playing cards in their hand. You can play as many as you'd like. And you're also going to be able to play certain cards like this one here, which is a referee, who just stand up the fight. If your opponent uh, did not play a card during his or her last turn, you can draw two cards. That can be pretty good since he didn't play a card in his last turn. He'd be able to draw two additional cards. And ref cards are going to be very useful. And some of them are going to be nasty as well. But like I said, at the end of three rounds, if you're zero points in health, before that happens, you lose. Otherwise, you're going to gain uh, count all the points that you have up here for the cards that have been successfully played, and whoever has the most here wins as well. Uh, the last thing to talk about is simply uh, at the end of every round. So after all players have gone through their five turns, you're going to simply go up here, you're going to move the round tracker over here once, and you have options. You can either draw cards from your deck, you can bring cards from your corner and put them back into your stamina deck and shuffle it up, so it'll give you more stamina, or you can simply heal yourself, and that'll kind of keep you in the fight a little longer. But it's very likely you're going to be taken out. But that's the basic idea for the MMA combat card game. So two caveats now first before we get started with the review. First of all, every single round you're going to be switching the first player over to the next player so they get to play first. And also, if you ever run out of stamina cards, which is basically your deck, you're going to be starting to take damage uh, from as stamina as toughness instead. So basically almost double damage. So you have to be very careful not to run out of stamina. It's important not to do that. But that's the basic aspect of the game. It's a simple combat card game that has a little bit of take that, a little bit of countering. And then, of course, you have your fighting positions, which is the most unique thing about the game in my opinion. Moving the fight into different positions based on the different decks. And there's multiple decks here. And just in the prototype that we have, we've got four different decks. One guy specifically likes to be grounded. One guy likes to be clinched or grounded. So another guy is like a kickboxer. He likes to be standing up and so on and so forth. So you feel the characters that you're playing. You feel like you want to be fighting this way or fighting this way or, oh, I'm going to do this move so that I can con count, uh, combo with this move. And then there's cards that combine, combine with other cards, right? We'll go ahead and talk about a couple of these guys here. This is a suplex. It, it lets you ground the fight, which is exactly what this deck likes to do. Look at your opponent's hand and choose a card. They have to discard that card. Some points are worth a lot of victory points. Maybe you could try and win that way. Other times you're going to be trying to do with toughness, which is going to uh, basically damage your opponent, which is the way I like to do it. Or stamina, which is removing cards from the deck or discarding cards from their deck. That is also a sufficient way to do it as well. Hammer Punch. If the fight's grounded, this card is plus two toughness and plus three stamina. So grounding the fight with this one, doing three and four, and then after it's grounded, it'll do three and five, but plus three and uh, two and three, which would be five and eight, making this card a lot better. So you can see the combinations and you can choose to play cards on your turn as many as you'd like But you also want to keep certain cards too because other times you're gonna have to actually just end your turn and, not, and just draw Because you need to regain your stamina the theme actually comes out in this game And at first I was really really I mean at first I was really really like Wary as to whether this was going to be working out as a combat game because it's just simply cards But it does it does a very very good job of doing that because I feel like I'm in the different positions I feel like I am dealing with my combinations of cards and whatnot We had a great time we played this multiple times and after we got done the next day We're like let's bust out MMA and try it again see if we like it with this combination We probably played every combination of cards a uh, deck against every other player and it was super fun the artwork is mm, needs needs more and I think that's because uh, I think that actually there is artwork coming so this is just kind of the prototype so a lot of the artwork is yet to be made but the front looks super good and I'm excited to see what they do with it I like the theme of the game I think it's very unique I haven't seen an MMA style card game let alone in like wrestling or anything like that so it's that is a nice um, 
interesting theme that I haven't seen come out yet, and it does work very well. I think this is one of those games where you're also just going to be like, I like the theme, I like the style of it, I'm interested, or maybe you want something more in depth, or maybe you want something a little more com a little less complex. Uh, it's right there in the middle, right? But for me, it's a fun game. I'm definitely going to bust at it again. It reminds me of Show Showdown and Shoot uh, Shoot Up, Shoot Up and Showdown. Those are the games I just bust out and play with people, and it's a quick one-on-one -on -one style game or or whatever, and it works really well. It's a good way to get people into card game, com combat card games that are just better than Uno and all that stuff. So definitely do check out the MMA combat card game if you're interested in the description below. I give it my thumbs up approval.